Hello and welcome to ITM. In this video, I'm going to talk about the three different ways to get back the menu key functionality in your keyboard if you don't have menu key. So without further ado, let's get started. Now, some manufacturers already provide some other key combination for getting that functionality. For instance, we have Dell. You can press function key along with the control key to get the menu key. Or some laptop, they provide shift with function key to get that menu function key. So if you don't have any of these, then follow along with me. So the very first option is the standard shift F10 keyboard shortcut that most of you may be already familiar with so if I go to Explorer and if I just need to right click on this I can press shift F10 to get the context menu so this is easy but for me personally I don't prefer that because I need to move my fingers all the way at the top row I prefer having any key substitution that should be in the first row of the keyboard so for that we can use the second way the second way is you can use any kind of key mapping software so i have over here a sharp keys it's open source you can download as msi or zip file or uh, there is one more software that is called as key tweak you can use also that it's pretty easy to use so the the concept behind these is they are mapping one key to another key and these settings are stored in the registry so if you are in bigger enterprises you can push this thing this settings through the group policy also so let's download the zip file and let's extract it And that you need to run as administrator and accept the user account control and over here you just need to click on add and from here you have to select which key you want to map so I have already decided that I will be using my right control key you can decide that what control key you want to kill so if you have any other key sitting at the first row and you don't really use it Personally, I don't use my right control key. I most of the time use left control key. So I press my right control key and it has captured my key code. And I click on OK. And instead of that, you want to replace with which key. So you can search over here, application key. So we have over here, special application key and click on OK. And that key mapping has been created. Now we just need to click on right to registry and those settings have been saved now I'm gonna show you where these settings are stored in the registry if I go to registry editing software regedit I just need to go to local machine system current control set control and keyboard layout and here you're gonna see we have a scan code map this is that registry entry that software has created so if you want to apply on to other machines also you can simply uh, right click over here and you can export it as a regedit file and then you can apply to other machines also so this is the simple code that it has generated we have just one mapping like this you can create a lot of more mappings now to have this thing work you just need to sign out and sign in back so as of now you can see if I just select this and press my control key I don't get the menu key so I will sign out and sign in and continue the recording okay so I'm signed in back now I can go to any software like notepad and now when I'm pressing control key I'm getting this menu you can see when I'm pressing control key I get the right click menu so this is one of the option available now if you want to undo that functionality you can simply again go to that location again run that software as administrator and you can simply delete that key and close it and yes I want to update the registry okay and again I just need to sign out to finalize those registry changes so I'll be signing out and I'll be back okay so I'm back after login now I need to go to auto hotkey there's a third option if you want to make a key combination for getting the menu key so just simply click on download to download the software and download the current version save it
and open the folder and let's run the software accept the user account control say yes and we will be going with the express installation and if you want to see the tutorial you can see the tutorial over here so what we need to do is we need to create the key mapping so if you want to see the keys over here I can go on to list of keys what we need to do is we need to make the mapping that we need to press when I press the when I press the control key when I press the left control when I press the right control key so let's go to modifier so when I say when I press the right control key along with the control so control control key it should be able to execute the apps key so how do we do that uh, let's do it in notepad in a notepad I can say when I press R C T R L when I press the right control key along with control so when I press left control key along with the right control key it should send a key that is apps key so this is the key combination I want when I press control key left control along with right control it should send the apps key to the keyboard so let's save it and we have to save it in a special format that is uh, let's say demo dot ahk for auto hotkey click on save and now let's run that go to the desktop and this is that file setting so if I just right click and I say run the script and that script has started executing over here you can see this script is executing so now what we to have what will happen is when I go over here and I press control left control along with right control I get the menu key so this is how we can do that mapping of multiple keys for getting their menu key and if you make any changes further you can just simply save the changes you can come back here right click and you say reload this script now if you want that whenever you restart your machine this script should get executed you just need to move the shortcut of this file to that location so you just need to go to run type in over here shell startup and just right click and drag and release over here and say I want to create a shortcut over here so whenever you will restart then also this script will get executed and you will get that functionality so these are the three different ways in which you can get the menu key hope you like this video if you have any other questions or comments please post in the comment section below and don't forget to subscribe see you in the next video